ain't got a care in the world tonight. What up world? This is Addy. I'm back. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about coffee. So I hope you guys like coffee. We're going to hit some places. Uh, I'm going to compare American Starbucks versus Russian coffee houses. So and hopefully I get to ask some other people whether they like it or not. So stay with me, all right? This is your boy Addy B. We are here in Starbucks in Moscow. So you're going to see some uh, parts about Starbucks in Moscow. So come with me. Let's check it out. Keep coming, keep coming. It's a franchising owned by a Russian company, so let's see. Uh, we're gonna compare the prices, um, and if you are not only in the States, if you are in London, or I don't know where you're from, but if you guys have Starbucks, make sure you write down your uh, how much they cost in your country or in your city. All right, so uh, I'm gonna order some uh, latte and cappuccino right now, so let's see how it goes. Come with me. I want you guys to have the real experience with uh, Russian Starbucks here. Well, um, the cheapest coffee here costs about three dollars. Um, I don't know about the states. How much does it cost back in the states? Because I remember, I don't remember. Last time I was there, it was about um, four bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So technically speaking, actually, it's cheaper for one dollar in Moscow. I don't know. I might be wrong. I like the, I like the the wall behind. Check this out. It's pretty cool. Uh, finally, I got my cappuccino. Um, does it taste the same? To me, actually, it does it taste the same, so I can't really tell the difference. Um, there are a lot of foreigners who hang out in Starbucks, and it's kind of a, like an upscale place, if you know what I mean. Um, it's exactly the same place like in America. Good customer service, good product. I'm not sure about the price, because the price might be a little bit higher, but uh, maybe just me. So let me know what you guys think. Most of the Starbucks are located just like back in the States, uh, business centers, uh, malls. Uh, right now, I'm, um, a lot of business centers in Moscow, they have Starbucks, um, a lot of upscale places. Uh, their mar uh, Starbucks marketing strategy is um, solidly go to the places where a lot of upscale people, I would say. So yeah, but, um, if uh, anybody from Seattle is watching this, you better put thumbs up to my video because I know the Starbucks originated from Seattle and I got a lot of friends in Seattle. So Kate, um, Armine, um, Christina, oh, you better put thumbs up to this video, all right? Because I'm drinking your product right here. Uh, we're done with Starbucks, but now we are a coffee house, uh, which is a Russian brand. And let's see the compare with the Starbucks. So come with me. This is a uh, this is a Russian brand right here, and uh, unlike Starbucks, uh, they serve. They serve ice cream here, which is pretty cool, actually. Uh, and guess what? It's a Baskin Robbins. So if you guys like ice cream, I think um, Coffee House would be the best place to come over here. And but uh, it's pretty tiny, actually. Uh, not all Coffee Houses are tiny, but only this one. If you guys are here, make sure you check this uh, Coffee House out. So I'm gonna go buy something. All right, so come with me. Unlike Starbucks, uh, another thing you can do here is actually uh, ask the waitress to serve you. In Starbucks, you gotta do it yourself, but in here, the coffee house, the waitress come and come and help you. So I'm just waiting for a waitress right now, or a waiter, or barista, whatever you call them. Um, I'm gonna go with the ice cream, actually. All right, so not coffee. I'm enough of coffee. Um, if you are a drinker, what I mean is an alcohol drinker, another thing is you can order beer, you can order all the mixed drinks in here. So you don't get this in a Starbucks, but in a coffee house, which is... And you can also get a cigarette here as well. I got my Basco Robbins here in a coffee house. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy my delicious ice cream here. This, is, this one goes to, for you guys, I'm done eating my uh, ice cream, it was delicious, very delicious. But the next place I'm gonna go is a chocolate
Uh, this is our last stop. Uh, this place is called Shikaladnitsa, which is a Russian brand. And um, if, you if you're hungry and you want to get a cup of coffee or any other drink, I think you can also come here. It's pretty much the same, like Starbucks, Coffee, coffee House, Shikaladnitsa, they're all in the same frame. Um, but the only downside about this place is they didn't let us uh, shoot inside the um, restaurant, so I couldn't really show you guys a lot. But uh, nevertheless, um, I hope you guys enjoy when it comes to Moscow, this place. Hey, uh, now I'm in Shikaladnitsa, which is another um, coffee house here in Moscow. Uh, unlike uh, Starbucks and uh, coffee house that you've been to already, this place is really crowded actually, I'm telling you guys. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Uh, and an another thing is about this place, you can order here soups, sandwiches, a lot of drinks, and you can also smoke here, so, so you, you decide. Шоколадница. Starbucks. Шоколадница. Starbucks. Шоколадница. Шоколадница. Starbucks. Шоколадница. Starbucks. Шоколадница. Starbucks. Starbucks. This is it guys, um, we visited three places and, and there are a lot of coffee houses in Moscow but those three are the most popular ones. And um, according to the price list, uh, uh, Starbucks is the number one, then goes uh, Chocolatitz the number two, and the third place goes to Coffee House. So depending on your budget you can visit those places. So I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you so much and love you guys all. Please subscribe.